Hey Vikings, it's Coach Webb here uh, with my assistant Bellamy. Bellamy, say hi. Hi. Welcome back to another edition of Workout with Webb. Workout with Webb, part four. All right, so today uh, for our workout, our theme is going to be Wacky Wednesday Fitness. Yeah. Wacky Wednesday Fitness. Yeah. All right, so we'll talk about our theme in just a second and, and what we're going to do for that. So today, we are going to be doing, hold up, hopefully you can see, we're going to be starting off uh, with our warm-up. We're going to be doing static stretching as our warm-up today. Then we're going to get into the workout. Our workout is focusing on our core, all right, so our abdominal muscles. Got to have a strong core. Uh, core is key for your fitness. Uh, during that workout, we're going to be doing sit-ups, leg raises, flutter kicks, Russian twists, and half moons, all right? Uh, we'll finish moon. up half moons. Step up, step aside, sweetie. Uh, we'll finish up with our cardio. As always, I'll have my assistant Bellamy choose how much time you're going to be doing for your cardio, and then uh, you'll need to once you complete your cardio, submit your assignment. Uh, as always, when you're submitting your assignment, take a post-workout picture of yourself holding up a sign or a piece of paper with the hashtag phrase written on it. And remember, each workout has a different hashtag phrase. So write that on there. You can do uh, one of two things. You can either post it to Twitter and make sure you tag uh, me on it, at CoachWeb9, and make sure you put at VikingDiff as well. Or the easiest way is once you take your picture, you can email that picture to me at SWEBB uh, at VikingMail.org. All right. So, I told you our theme is what? Wacky Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday. So, right now you're going to pause your screen, go put on your wackiest clothes. Uh, it can be anything as far as, you know, lots of different colors. They could just be combinations of clothes that just don't match. Whatever you like, just have fun with it. Put on some wacky clothes. Come on back, press play, and uh, we'll get right at the workout. All right, we'll see you in just a minute. All right, welcome back, Vikes. I uh, hope you got all your wacky gear on. Uh, my assistant Bellamy and I, we're all wacky geared out, ready to go. Got lots of colorful uh, colors on, and uh, we're ready to get going with the workout. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna head over to our mat and get going with some stretching. Let's go. All right, first stretch, hopefully everyone can see. All right, we'll keep our feet together, straight down, touch your toes, ready, go. Keep your legs straight, stretch out your hamstring. And up, check the box, sweetie. All right, you may take your right foot, put it over top of your left. All right, we'll keep our left leg straight, focus just in on our left hamstring. Straight down, touch toes. Ready, go. Yeah. All right, keep holding, keep holding. And up. All right, we're gonna switch. We're gonna take left foot, put it over top of our right. Keep our right leg straight. <laughs> and down and touch toes. Ready, go. You feel a nice pull and stretch in your right hamstring. Everybody's doing a great job. And up. All right. Everybody spread your feet nice and wide. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take both hands down, touch our right toes. Ready, go. Keep both legs as straight as you can. All right, stretch it out. And up. All right, over to the left. Ready, go. Try and touch your nose to your knee if you can, if you're that flexible. If not, just keep reaching a little bit farther. Each time. And up. Very good. All right, now we're going to go down uh, between our legs. Try and walk your hands back behind you. Ready, go. And up. Very good, everybody. 
All right, now we're doing a right quad stretch. So we're going to stand on our left leg. Okay, we're going to grab our right foot, bring it back behind us, and pull. Ready? Go. Go ahead and hold that stretch. Everybody's doing an excellent job. And down. All right, left quad. Okay, so we should be feeling our stretch right here in our, our left quad. We're going to grab our left foot. Ready? Go. Grab that foot up. Stretch out the quad. And down. All right. Everybody on your bottom. Going feet together. All right, keeping our leg. <laughs> Lots of wind here today. All right, let's try that again. Feet together, straight out, touch toes. Ready, go. And re. And up. All right, left leg in, right leg out. Switch to the other way, sweetie. Yep, all right, we gotta reach, touch your, your right foot, try and pull at your toes. Ready, go. Keep reaching, keep holding, keep your legs straight, and relax, switch. All right, we're gonna switch legs. Good. All right, we're reaching for our left feet. Left foot, trying to reach our left toes. Ready to go. All right, feel the stretch. Just doing it. Pull back on your toes. Get a nice stretch in your calf as well as in your hamstring. Good. All right, shake your legs out. Good. Pull your feet in together. We got butterflies. Use your elbows. Push down. That's right. Show everybody. Ready to go. Use your elbows. Push down on your legs. Create a bigger stretch. Good. And relax. Shake the legs out. And butterfly again. Feet in. There you go. Stretches should be helping you getting ready for not only our workout, but for our cardio. Right, and drain any uh, soreness that you have in your muscles from previous days of cardio. And relax. All right, keep the legs out. All right, very good, everybody. So that concludes our, our stretching portion. All right, now we're going to move into our core workout. Okay, so we're focusing all these workouts right here on our abdominal muscles, trying to build a strong core. It's very key to any fitness to have a strong core. Right, your core helps protect you. You uh, helps support your back. Okay, so if you're if you're suffer suffer. It's a train station. If you're ever suffering from any kind of back ailments, things like that, if you do core exercises, that'll help strengthen the core, which helps strengthen your back muscles as well, and helps you have more of an upright posture, uh, which alleviates a lot of issues that you may have as you get older. Because uh, one day you will be old like me. You won't be young like Bellamy and like yourselves right now. So uh, stay working out, stay fit, keep that core tight. All right, so starting off, we're just doing 10 sit-ups. All right, so we do our sit-ups. Put our feet together, we're gonna bend at our knees, feet flat on the ground, arms crisscrossed, hands on our shoulders. We're gonna go all the way down, and we're going all the way up. One, down, come on down. Up, two, we're gonna crisscross our arms, bend our knees, going down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, we're doing 10, down, up, seven, bend your knees, down, up, eight, 
down, up nine, down, up ten, all the way up. All right, very good. Hope we, uh, you were able to do this a little easier than we were. All right, uh, next thing we're gonna be doing is we're doing leg raises. So when we do our leg raises, starting off, we're gonna lay flat on our backs. Okay, we turn to see this way and then I'll turn the other way. All right, but we're gonna lay flat on our backs. All right, hands on our sides. We're gonna keep our legs straight. We wanna raise our feet six, six inches off the floor, okay? Just like that, six inches off the ground. All right, so now Bellamy and I are gonna turn back here so you can see both. Let's be right here. All right, everybody flat on your back. Okay, feet up, six inches off the ground. Ready, up, up and hold. Lift your feet. Straight leg, straight leg. Good, hold. And down. Relax for just a moment. We'll come back to it. All right, here we go. Next round, ready, up and hold. Six inches off the ground. Hold. And down. Okay. All right, that was pretty easy for our leg raises. All right, we'll be coming back to those in just a minute. Uh, to build off that right now, we're gonna move into flutter kicks. So we do our flutter kicks. Once again, we're gonna be laying flat on our back. We're gonna elevate our feet about six inches off the ground and keeping our legs as straight as possible, we're gonna kick our feet without our heels touching the ground. Going one up, one down. Okay, let me demonstrate. So we're gonna raise our feet up and we're just flutter kicking. Okay, we start up slow, get a little bit faster each time. Turn to the side so you got a good visual. See right there. Once again, raise them up. And we're just kicking. Legs straight, back and forth. All right. Now that you've seen how to do it, time to go to work. You ready? All right, lay down. All right, here we go. Straight legs, our feet up, and kick. Good, you should be tightening your core, flexing your ab muscles, and relax. Good, everybody relax. Don't fall asleep on me now. All right, so we're gonna do another round of flutter kicks. Everybody ready, here we go, feet up, and kick. Try and go a little bit quicker. Switch toes, kick your feet, and relax. All right. Sit up. Okay, next exercise we have for you, all right, is our Russian twist. When we do our Russian twist, we're working on sitting just on our bottom, keeping our feet elevated slightly off the ground. We want to rotate, keep our hands together. If you're advanced, you can find a medicine ball, you can find a weight, use anything that has a little bit of weight, so that'll be a little bit harder on you, give you a little more resistance. Right, if you're not at that level yet, just do it on air, just like we're gonna do. We're gonna put our hands together. We're gonna raise our feet up. We're gonna touch the ground. we we'll touch the ground, okay? So we're just going to get my mat to stay down here with all this wind. We're just trying to rotate at our core, rotating the trunk, okay, side to side. We're keeping our feet off the ground. Now, me, you ready? All right, here we go. Hands together. Start on the left. The other left. And we're going to bring it to the right. Ready? Go. We're just tw uh, twisting at the trunk, twisting our core, bringing hands down, keep our feet elevated off the ground. Just be flexing our core muscles. And when you get good, you can go faster. And relax. You don't want to go any faster? <laughs> All right, Bellamy doesn't want to go any faster because your hands will get tired. But you at home, go as fast as, as what's good for you. All right? 
So if you get down the, the repetition, then start speeding it up. Go a little bit faster each time. All right, so we're gonna go a second time around on this. Let's see how fast you can go. Feet off the ground, hands together, throw on the left, and we're going back and forth. Rotate, rotate, rotate at your core. Good, get all the way around, touch the ground. Keep working, come on Bellamy, keep working. Good, and relax. All right, I'm gonna give you about a 20 second break here. Catch your breath. You gonna count to 20 for us? Count louder so everyone can hear you. All right, great job, Bellamy. All right, so 20 seconds is up. Time to get back to work. So what we're going to do is we're going back to our leg raises, but we're going to add a little level of difficulty to it, okay? So before when we did our leg raises, we raised them up six feet off the ground, kept their feet together, all right? We're going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to give you two, I'm going to give you a couple different instructions here. I'm either going to say apart, which means you're going to spread your feet apart. Then I'll say together, or I'll give you a height increment, okay? So right now we start off at six inches. If I say 12, I want you to raise your heels to 12 inches. If I say 18, I want you to raise it up to 18 inches, so on and so forth, going in that direction. All right, everybody understand? Let's go to work. All right, lay down. All right, here we go. Legs straight, feet together, six inches. Apart. Together, 12 inches. Oops, don't go higher than I did. Apart, together, 18. Apart, together, 6, 18, 6, 12, 1, 6, 12, 6, 1. Relax. All right. Take a breather. We'll do it one more time. Oh, we're not waiting 20 seconds. Count fast. All right, your 20 seconds are up. My speed counter bell means of 20. Everybody ready? Feet together straight up, six inches. 12 inches. 18. Leg straight. One, six, one, twelve, six, twelve, one. Relax. All right. What's up? All right. So, last exercise that we have here. Come on back. Up, is our Russian twist. And lay down. Yep, rush down. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm sorry, not uh, rush to us. Yes, you are. So, our last one is our half moons. All right, when we go half moons, we're going to be using these jugs. You can use anything that gives you a little bit of height. Okay, I filled the jug up with water so it won't blow away on us or fall over. We're going to start with our feet on the side of our jug. We're going to scoot back so our feet are right even with our jug. Leave the jug where it is. It's right here. Okay. Our goal is we're going to be going over and back on the jug. Okay. Raising our legs. Over and back. We're going to start off going with both feet. So, Bellamy's going to lay down. All right. She's going to raise her feet up. She's going to raise them over the jug without touching the ground and bring them back. Over and back. Yep. All right, we're going to do it together. Everybody ready? Start off on the left side of your jug. Feet together. Hands on your sides. Ready? Go. One. Over and back. So watch these feet. Over and back. Good. One more time. Good, uh, relax. Okay, make sure your jug is in the middle. Make your jug where it is. All right, now, 
we're going to go with just one foot at a time. So we're going to raise both feet off the ground. All right, but we're going to keep our left leg still. We're just going to move our right leg over and back while the left leg's off the ground. All right, everybody watch. Do a quick demo. Feet are up. Right leg over, left, right leg back. Over and back. Good. All right, everybody ready? Let's work. Feet up, right leg. And relax. Okay, now we're gonna go left leg only. Everybody ready? Feet up, left leg. Keep your right foot off the ground. And when your left foot is moving, One more. Relax. All right. Come on over here, Bill. All right, bring it on over. Come on. It's heavy, isn't it? All right, so that is our, our core workout. All right, so we went through each one of the exercises uh, with you. And what I would like you to do, because we did a speed up version, I'd like you to go through them all one more time each, okay? Do each one of those again. So again, that's our sit-ups, okay? Sit-ups, do at least 10. Regular leg raises, okay? And then incorporate the feet apart, feet together, six inches, 12 inches, 18 inches, one, back and forth. Flutter kicks, Russian twists, and then the half moons, which is what we just finished with, right? So after you go through each one of those one more time, then you've got to uh, complete the workout with your cardio. Are we so, done? Almost. So when you complete your cardio, then you'll submit your assignment. As I stated before, make sure you take a post-workout uh, picture of yourself. Make sure you're holding a piece of paper or a sign with the hashtag phrase written on it. And then uh, email that picture to me. Once again, email address is swebb at vikingmail.org. Or you can post it up on Twitter. And if you post it on Twitter, make sure that you include the hashtag phrase. Hashtag Wacky Wednesday Fitness, okay, Wacky Wednesday Fitness, and you also put at Coach Web 9 and at Viking Diff. All right, so I hope you enjoyed working out with us today. Are I know, easy? yep, I know Bellamy and I enjoyed wearing some wacky clothes. Can I keep and mine on? Keep mine, yep. We, we wore some wacky clothes. Bellamy wants to keep hers on the rest of the day, uh, which is fine, and I uh, hope you enjoyed working out your core. I hope your abdominal muscles are feeling nice and strong, okay? Some of those exercises also worked, uh, worked your hips quite a bit. I know mine are feeling a little, uh, little uh, sore at the moment. So when I go to do my cardio here in just a minute, I might be regretting doing some of those. Uh, but I know you guys all did great. We had a lot of fun. We miss you all. And uh, we look forward to seeing you as soon as possible, you know, whether that be uh, you know, over the summertime, or next school year. Uh, don't forget to keep tuning in each week until the school year is out for a new workout with web video. Make sure you complete those, turn in the assignments so you're staying up to date on your points and keeping that grade, keeping that grade really good. I got papers blowing around everywhere because it's so windy out here. Uh, but before we go, uh, Bellamy is going to select how much cardio we all got to do today. All right, so we got our cardio cards all here. We'll spread them out and let her make her choice. Let me spread them out first. Okay, no peeking. All right, which one you want? All right, show everybody how much time we got. Let's see, is it up right? Oh, okay. All right, so Bellamy chose eight minutes and 30 seconds. Eight minutes and 30 seconds. So that's how much cardio we got. You can either uh, do speed walk. All right, make sure it's speed walk. Once again, not a slow walk in the park. Make sure it's speed walk, get your heart rate elevated. Um, maximize your, your cardio here today. 
You can jog or run, or you can uh, ride your bike. All right, complete your cardio, have fun and enjoy it. Um, hopefully the weather is as nice for you uh, where you're at as it is for us today, even though it is very windy. Uh, take care of yourselves, stay healthy, continue to practice your social distancing uh, so that we can all get back together sooner than later. All right, we miss you all. Take care. Say bye, Bellamy. Bye. Till next time. Daddy, can I see Go Vikes. Daddy, can I paint my whole outfit on today? Yeah.